allowed. Let's start the game again. Nice to see you, my young friend. You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I know we had to do it to open the scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic. But I don't think we should tell anyone, especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. <coughs> I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realise it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Anyone care enough to remove my demiguy statue? Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demiguy statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're quite clever. Oh, thank you. A lot of craftsmanship and care went into them. Down, I assume. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student. Too cowardly to do it himself. Oh, hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly, until you started clearing them out. Sounds as if Mr. Moon deserved what he got. But perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demiguy statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, I might have known. Pigtails Piers. I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does. Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laugh the hardest of all. Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm going to go and pay a visit to my old friend.
I can appreciate hot food. So this is the underground harbour. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Rebellion. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration? Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humour me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. 
Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snuggery. No, incorrect. The answer was the Golden Snidget. The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? The pepper up potion. I'm afraid the answer was Felix Felicis. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The founder's relics. No, the answer was the Deathly Hallows. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Snitch. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the Quaffle. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. True. Actually, the answer was false. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? The Wizards Council. That's correct. The Wizards Council disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? The Antipodean Opali. No, I'm sorry, but the answer was the Peruvian Vipertooth. Though the Vipertooth is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Hengist of Woodcroft. That's right! It is believed that Hengist used the Three Broomsticks Inn as his home. The hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? A Letherfold. That's incorrect. The answer was a demiguise. While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a Letherfold? The knockback jinx. Actually, the answer was the Patronus charm. The only known survivor of a Letherfold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? Gamp. That's it! One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Knowledge is the real magic. No, the answer was Never tickle a sleeping dragon. In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormians Nunquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? The Basilisk. That's incorrect. The correct answer was the Rune's Paw. According to Parcel Mouths, each of the Rune's Paw's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Mount Greylock. Well done! 
The American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Elixir to induce euphoria. Incorrect. The answer was Amatentia. Amatentia smells differently to every person according to what they find attractive, such as dusty book covers or... <clears throat> Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. I don't have time for another quiz at the moment. That's fine. Come and find me if you'd like to try later. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Revelio! Welcome back. Have you finished? Reporting back, Professor. Assignment's all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before... Arrest the moment. Oh, that's it. Keep it up. On your way to mastering Arresto Momentum.
Professor Weasley transferred... Hello, Gareth. So, has your aunt been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a, mostly, empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. You don't create anything worthwhile without setting a few things on fire. Agreed. Innovators like us are unappreciated in our time. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you, or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information, connected in any way to Professor Fig? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed.
Hogsmeade, here I come. But I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I remember our meet mentioning something about gobbledygook. Pardon me? Might I ask a favor of you? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. away with all those dark wizards? Oh, a cannibal. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Does it get any more cosy than... Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Zacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few boobatubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Into the Forbidden Forest for Boo Tubers. I hope it's worth the risk. You! What a pleasant surprise! Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Work hard and don't. That's where the path is leading. 
Hello there, come on in. Plenty to look at here. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Meet, here I come. It's not like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package. But it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. 
I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, above us. She did make it home safe. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Well, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Defender! Expelliant! See, the bridge wasn't spared her wrath either. Good thing it's fixable. Repair her. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How oh, lucky for us. Watch your step. Oh. Just raring for a fight. Quiet, what was that? It's hurting. 
domain, so make sure... Keep at it. We've just got to make it to the nest. Oh, you're making it easy. You're all welcome. It's a little too warm, if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I've normally tried, but we're well past that. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair it. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Have a look around. I'll be with you in just a minute. Well, what say we show you some of what's available?
Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Doors always open. You be sure to... Resource indeed, your field guide. I've moved.
Not sure how I'd fare in a little. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned? I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne, I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Catacomb. Catagat. Catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Expel the start. Accio! Opening all of these is tempting. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. tonight.
Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. I'm surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Accio! Incendio. Rebellion. There's something here by the altar. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades, I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or well, in this case, no bone. Protego! Incendium! Expelliarmus! If this archway's been barricaded, we can find a way through. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the terrace. Accio! Accio! 
Arrest on momentum. Descend on. Levioso. Protego. Accio. Bastardo Levioso. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. I don't think learning the Imperio's curse is a good idea. Really? But we've no idea what may lie ahead. But I shan't press you. I'll have your back no matter what we face in there. Here we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Incendio! Expel the office! Incendio! Dramatic, isn't it? Incendio. Accio. Levioso.
This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Accio. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Regardia Leviosa. Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Akia also dealing with rune symbols. Nicely done. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Rebellion! Accio! Protagon! Incendio! Expelliarmus! Incendio! Arrest the Incendio!
a moment there, I thought that had never end. Dead end. Lovely. All that and nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Rebellion. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret. Especially for my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous? The sound you kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Incendio! Protego! Incendio!
Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment to change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. Akio! Moving piles of bones towards the center will help.
As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It had only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. No. What is it? Smoke! Over there, by the hamlet! Velkov's in trouble! They're under attack! That's hard. Confirm them. 
What have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damn book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts.